Good morning, guys. We're going to start our workout this morning. So the way that I'm going to do this, I'm going to show you um, different ways of doing single exercises within that exercise. So I'll announce what we're going to do, what exercise we're going to do. And obviously, some of them you're going to be unfamiliar with first time around. I'll show you what it is. Um, try to start the exercise once you become familiar with the exercises, once I announce what they are. All right. So this morning we're going to start off first thing with side lunges. So you're going to take a nice wide stance. Toes are pointing straight forward. All we're going to do is come down over one knee, push it back up, come down over the other knee. So you guys should be doing these now. So this is a side lunge. And if you want a little bit more of a challenging option, you can lunge down, come up halfway, lunge back down, come up full way, and switch over to the other leg. So come down, come up halfway, lunge back down, come up full way. So that's an alternative. And the last alternative for this exercise I have is lunge down, stay low, and just kind of move side to side. This is another way. So you really want to push your butt back on these, whichever method you're choosing to do. Nice job. All right, that's enough of those. We're going to move on. We're going to do um, a sidearm circle. So grab a hold of your weights couple of ways you can do these. I'll show you how to do it, doing the alternating side, side arms. So you're just gonna do one at a time, side arm circles. Just kind of making a C with your arm. One arm at a time, or you can do alternating arms. Going back and forth. A little more challenging. You can do both arms at the same time. Make sure you're standing up nice and straight. Shoulders are down and back, you're breathing. And the hardest of all of these, keep one arm in the air while the other one is making the circles, half circles. And then switch over halfway through to the other arm. Nice job. Excellent. Good. All right. Next exercise. We're going to keep with our deadlifts. So you can have your regular old deadlift. You guys know how to do these. Hinge over at your hips, hands, follow your legs down, slight bend in the knee, push through your heels, bring it back up. We've been doing this for a long time now. Next alternative is a single leg deadlift. You can put your toe on the ground behind you. You don't need to use weights if you don't want to. So you're doing a deadlift, but you're doing it with one leg. So you still have that slight bend in the knee, hinging over at the hip. Back becomes parallel with the ground. Push through the heel to bring it back up. Or you can even lift that leg off of the ground for even more of a challenge. Try to find a dot on the ground. Ooh, this is hard when you're pregnant. Just stare at, stare at the dot on the ground. That will help you find your balance with these. And then switch over to the other leg halfway through. All right, next we're gonna do our plank. You all know how to do a plank. So I'm gonna tell you when to begin your plank. And then I'm also going to show you a bunch of alternatives that you can do during that plank time. So we're going to do our 60 second plank. So we're going to start in five, four, three, two, one. Here you go. Either on your elbows or up on your hands, whichever way you want to do it. Make sure you're pushing your heels back. Abs are nice and tight. You're staring down at the ground. Make sure your head's not hanging down. Your butt's not way up here. So a couple of alternatives that you can do. You 
can shift forward onto your toes. Shift forward onto your forearms. Shift back. All you do during the 60 seconds is shift back and forth. Back and forth. Okay? Another alternative, it's called a dolphin. Bring your butt way up. Head becomes, comes between your arms. And then you're going to come back down. So you just continue to go up and down. Last alternative, hip swivel. We got five seconds left here. Three, two, one. Nice job. Excellent. Whew. All right. Next exercise, grab a hold of a weight. Grab a chair. You're going to need it. We're going to take a nice wide stance in our chair. Feet, toes are going to be pointed out diagonally. We're going to put our weight behind our, our neck on our shoulders. All we're going to do, we're going to make sure our shoulders are down and back. Nice straight back. We're going to bend forward and then bring it back up. These are called good mornings. Bend forward, bring it back up. Keep it going. These seem like they would be easy, but they're actually fairly difficult. Make sure you keep a nice flat back and really try to, instead of pushing through your feet to bring yourself back up, Try and keep your abdominals tucked in and lift from your core. Last one. Nice job. Excellent. Okay. Last exercise for this circuit. We're going to do a hollow body hold. So you're going to sit down on the ground. We'll do this for about 30 seconds. You're going to lay down. You can do this a number of ways. Number one, lifting your feet up off of the ground and holding. Number two, lifting both your arms, head, upper back up off of the ground and holding along with your feet. Or number three, leaving your feet on the ground, lifting your upper back, head, arms off of the ground. Whichever way you choose, we're gonna do 30 seconds. In three, two, one, let's go. Lift it up. Hold it. This is really hard to do. <laughs> Keep holding it. We're over halfway there. We got about 10 seconds left. Keep holding. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Take a break, grab some water. Catch your breath. That's the first round. Ooh. All right. Next round, we're going to start with a tricep push up. So, these, you're going to be down on the ground. The closer your feet are into your butt, the easier this, this is. So, all you're going to do is bring your hips up, bend down with your triceps, and push yourself up. So, Pushing up with your triceps. The farther your feet out, the harder this is. Because you got to try to keep your butt up. And you can also challenge yourself by doing this with one leg. Whichever way you choose. Come down. Push it up. Keep it going. We're almost there. Last two. Here we go. One 
and two. Nice job. All right. Next, we're going to do Superman. So you remember the Superman that we've been doing, holding for three to five seconds. So <clears throat> instead, we're going to keep, this is a little different than a Superman. We're going to keep our toes on the ground. We're going to lift our upper body up off the ground, looking straight down at the ground. You're going to move your arms in a circle and then bring it back down. So upper body comes up, hands come up, head comes up, move those arms in a circle, half circle, bring it back down. Keep it going. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Keep those toes on the ground. Legs and toes should be on the ground. Try and keep your arms as straight as you can. Last one. Nice job. All right. We are moving into a back fly. So you're gonna grab a hold of your weight. You can do these seated or standing. Seated is easier. So if you're doing them seated, you're gonna be sitting down on your chair. You're gonna bend over your chair or bend over your knees, hands come down by your side. All you're gonna do is pull your arms out to the side and back. The arms come straight out to the side. You can keep a slight bend in your elbow if you choose to. Deep breaths in and out. And if you're doing these standing up, you can do one leg in front of the other and fly. You don't need to alternate your legs. You can if you want to halfway through. Keep it going, keep breathing. Last two, here we go. One and two. Nice job. All right, next we're gonna do kneeling hip thrusts. So what you're going to do, and I'll give you an alternative to this if you can't come down on your knees. You're going to get down on your knees, your toes kind of come together. You're going to take your weight, put it behind your neck. You're going to lean over your knees a little bit. And all we're going to do is come up and down. Up, really push those hips forward, squeeze your butt once they're forward, and down. really bend it over as you come back as you sit back down really bend it over this is going to work your core too okay now if you can't come down on your knees that's okay you can do last time we did our feet up on a chair with bridges this time you're going to do your back so if you lean back onto a chair or onto a sofa bring your upper back here what you can do is bring your hips down and up. So this is another way of doing it. It's easier to do it on, so on a soft surface. So keep it going. Try and bring your butt down as low as you can. Push it up as high as you can. You can hold the weight onto your hips as well. Again, this is best done on a soft surface like a sofa or a lounge chair. Keep it going. Last one. 
Nice job. Oh, if I can get back up. All right. Next, we're going to do some heel touches. So we're going to lie down for these. You're going to bring your knees up into the air. All we're going to do is lift our upper back off of the floor and we're going to do side to side heel touches like so. Keep it going. Touch those heels side to side. Keep that back upper back off the floor. The further your heels are away from your butt, the harder this is. Keep it going. Keep breathing. Almost there. Keep breathing in and out. Last two sets. One and two. Nice job. All right, we're going to stay down on the ground. We're going to finish up this round with flutter kicks. All right. So all we're going to do is lie down on the ground. Hands can be down by your side. You can also put them underneath your butt. If you choose to, makes it a little bit easier. All we're gonna do is point our toes and we're gonna flutter kick. Try and keep your, you need to keep your low back on the ground. This is difficult. So an alternative is just flutter kicking with one, off, one leg and then alternating over to the other leg. Okay, if you can't do both. Keep it going, we're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Take a break, grab some more water. We're gonna go back into our first circuit that we did earlier. We're already halfway there. All right. Next circuit. We're doing side lunges again. So pick your option and let's go. Nice wide stance, toes pointing forward, coming down over one knee, pushing it back up, coming down over the other knee, pushing back, pushing it back up. Again, your options you need to stay low and just rock side to side. Keep your toes straight, keep your butt pushed back, or you can do the partial coming all the way down, halfway up, all the way back down, coming all the way up. So you're adding a little half lunge in there, whichever one you choose. Keep it going. Really push the butt back. Keep breathing in and out. You got this, nice job. Make sure you stand all the way up when you come up. Last two, let's go. Last one. Nice job. Whew. All right, we're doing sidearm circles. Grab a hold of your weights. All right, first way of doing this, alternating sidearm circles, bringing one arm up, bringing it back down, bringing the other arm up, bringing it back down, try and keep your arms straight. An alternative, you can keep, you can do both arms at the same, same time. Make sure you're doing these nice and slow so you're not just Swinging your arms up there. You really want to use those muscles. And your third option, keep one arm up in the air while you're doing one side. Deep breaths in and out still, and then alternate over, keep the other arm up. Nice job, keep it going as you do on the other side. 
Nice and controlled, last one, here we go. Nice job. All right, we're gonna do our deadlifts again. You can use your weights if you want to, you don't have to. Feet close together or up to shoulder width apart, hinging over at your hips. Hands follow your legs down. You're gonna push through your heels to bring it back up, okay? Keep it going. Push through those heels, bring it back up. Keep breath in and out. If you're doing a single leg, you can have your toe touching the ground. Back becomes parallel with the ground. Your toe is just there for balance. Or you can do lift the toe up off the ground, stare the dot on the floor. Alternate legs halfway through. All right, keep it going. Now almost there. Last three, here we go. One. Two. And three, nice job. All right, let's go into our plank. All right. Remember your alternatives. I'll show them to you again. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 60 second plank up on your hands or on your elbows. Make sure they're in line with your shoulders. If you want, you can shift forward onto your forearms and toes and shift back. Just shifting back and forth during your 60 seconds. Or you can do a hip swivel, rotating your hips side to side. Last one you can do is a dolphin. Head be comes between your arms. Hips come up into the air. Go back and forth into your regular plank. Back up into a dolphin. Deep breaths in and out, we're almost there. 10 seconds left, you got this. Keep holding it, keep pushing your heels back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, excellent. All right, seated good morning. Grab your chair, grab a weight. We're sitting down, nice wide stance with our legs, sitting up nice and straight. Bring that weight behind your back. We're going to bend it over and then push it back. You try and use your core to bring it back up. Tighten your abdominals as you pull yourself back up instead of you relying solely on your feet to push yourself back up. Really suck that gut in. Breathing in and out. Deep breath. Keep it going, we're almost there. Last one, here we go. Nice job. Set that weight off to the side. We're going back into our hollow body hold. We'll do 30 seconds. All right. So again, legs and arms, upper back, come up off the ground and we hold, or you can keep just your upper body up of the, off the ground, or you can keep your feet up off of the ground, whichever way you choose. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Lift it up, hold it, whichever way you choose. Keep holding it. Breathing in and out. If you have difficulty, really have difficulty with this, you can always lift one leg off of the ground 
switch halfway through to the other leg. Keep holding, we're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. It was a little longer than 30 seconds. Take a break again. We've got one more round to finish up and then we're done. All right, next round. We're gonna start off on the ground. We're doing our tricep push-ups. Remember, closer into your feet are into your butt, the easier that these are. Bring your hips up, bend it down. Try and keep your elbows from coming out to the sides. Try and keep them coming straight back. So you really gotta bring your hips up, push through your arms. I'll give you an alternative that I didn't show you the first time around. Keep doing them if you're doing them already. You can also take your chair, hands come onto the edge of your chair, and you can do them this way, pushing up and down. Keep it going. Almost there, last two, here we go. One and two, nice job. All right, super hands with our arm circle. So we're down on the ground again, arms out in front of us. Toes are gonna be touching the ground. Lift that upper body off of the ground. Arms come into half circles, bring it back down. Make sure you're not arching your neck back. You should be looking straight down at the ground. Upper body comes off, half circle, bring it back down. Looking straight down at the ground. Keep it going, we're almost there. Last one. Nice job. All right. Let's see what's next here. Back fly. Okay. Grab a hold of your weights. Grab your chair if you need it. You can do these seated or standing. If you're doing them seated, sit towards the end of your chair. You're going to lean over your knees, slight bend in your elbows. Arms come out, arms come out to the side. Breathing in and out. Deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Keep it going. If you're doing these standing, one leg in front of the other, leaning over that front knee. Arms still coming out to the side. Keep it going. Last two, here we go. One and two, nice job. All right. Get down on the ground, we're doing kneeling, hip thrust. Toes come together behind you. Weight's gonna be behind your head. You're gonna be leaning over your knees. Push it up with your hips, squeeze your butt, bring it back down. Push it up through your hips, bring it back down. Remember to lean over your knees as you come back down. Use your abdominals. Keep it going. Again, an alternative to this. Use the sofa, use the chair. Put your back on the sofa or the chair. You can rest the weight right here. All you're doing is pushing up with your hips this way. This is a lot easier on a sofa. 
Keep breathing in and out. We're almost there. Last two. Here we go. One and two. Nice job. All right. We're down on the ground on our backs. We're almost done, guys. We're doing our heel touches again. So knees are up, heels are in toward our butt. The farther away your heels are from your butt, the harder this is. Lift that upper back off of the ground. Reach for your heels, let's go. Alternate side to side. Tuck your chin into your chest. Breathing in and out. Keep it going. Keep going, we're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, last exercise. We're gonna do flutter kicks. All right, so hands can be down by your side or underneath your butt. All we're doing is alternating feet back and forth. Again, if that's too difficult, you can just do one leg at a time, alternating legs back and forth. Let's go. Flutter kick. Keep your low back on the floor. Don't arch your back. Keep it going. Keep it going, we're almost there. Low back on the ground, deep breaths. Keep kicking, keep kicking. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, everyone, you made it. Excellent job. Oh, I missed you guys. I know you all kicked butt during this workout. Feel free to email me if you have any questions, if you need help with anything, and I'll get back to you. Nice job today, and you'll see each other next week. All right, bye, guys.